Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy's pet. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. Daisy, Poppy, don't ride your hobby horses on the breakfast table. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Hmm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony, pony. Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous. And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony. <coughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wriggly, snakey. An alligator. Alligator, alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet, a hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. A rat! No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! <laughs> Pippin likes you, Daddy. <coughs> oh, it is cute, isn't it? Cute isn't quite the word I had in mind. <laughs> I think it'd be um happier if it lived outside. Very well. Back, back, Pippin. <laughs> They're fine as long as you don't show you're afraid. Back, Pippin. <laughs> back, Pippin. Back. There, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. Can we give Pippin something to eat, Nanny? Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. Courtyard full of straw. It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> it's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Ho. Oh. Oh, no! Pippin's run away! Oh, um, how sad! How terribly sad! Pippin! Pippin! We've lost Pippin! What a dreadful turn of events! Pippin's gone! Gone forever! Wait, King Thistle! I can get your hamster back! Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben! It's no trouble! Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf! <coughs> Ready, Gaston? <laughs> Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. 
Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! Oh, 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 oh. The things we do for our pets, hey, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again. The wheel's heading for the great elf tree. We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! <laughs> it's heading back to the little castle! Oh. oh, my goodness, Mr. Elf, we were spared! But a mighty wheel thundering back from whence it came, and I think it was... <clears throat> There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? The wheel hit the elf tree, but everyone is OK. Hooray! What's the bad news? The wheel is coming back here! Ah! Everyone into the tower! Run for your lives! Yes, King Thistle. Wonderful, isn't it? Your hamster is back home. <gasps> oh, Pippin's tired. You see? The wheel worked. Now we know how much exercise Pippin needs every day. To the elf tree and back. No! Pippin has to go. Oh, but Daisy and Poppy love Pippin. Pippin. I don't want a pet living in my castle. I could magic Pippin into a different kind of pet. A pet that could live outside the castle. <sighs> OK, Nanny. Just do it. The elves have mended the hamster cage. I, I, I mean the castle, Your Majesty. Splendid! Let's take a look. What? Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Why is there straw in my courtyard? Courtyard? Oh, you mean the feeding bowl. What? Yes, darling. You asked for a pet that could live outside the castle. So we went back to what we all wanted in the first place. A pony! Ah! <laughs> oh, lovely. Pippin pony! <laughs> giddy up, giddy up! <laughs>
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Rocket. No time to read the newspaper, Your Majesty. There is King's work to be done. What King's work? The elves want you to inspect their latest toy. Oh, I don't like these elf toy inspections. The toys are always perfect, and all I say is they're perfect. There's the elf truck now. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> OK, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well, I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. And elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston. <laughs> and Nanny Plum to look after the children. I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh. OK. Marvellous. See you later, then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. OK. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. Ah, how did the toy inspection go? Uh, did the king say the toy rocket was perfect? Uh, he thought it could go a bit higher. Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit as strong as spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon. To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible. Elf honour is at stake. Elf honour? In that case, we must do it. We'll build this rocket and we'll fly it to the moon tonight. Stop toy production at the Elf Factory. Start work on the Elf Rocket immediately. Right -o. Now, I will work out how to get the Elf Rocket from here... The Little Kingdom. ...to here. The Moon. Ah, Nanny Plum. I'd like you to join us on a little trip this evening to the moon. A trip to the moon? That sounds nice. I'll pack a picnic. Hello? Hello, Your Majesty. The elf rocket is ready. That was quick. Elves work quickly. And we're elves. <laughs> ah! May I present the elf rocket? Does it fly? Does it fly? Of course it flies. It's an elf rocket. The rocket will land here in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sandcastles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point of that? Listen, everyone. This is a very serious mission. There'll be no swimming or picnic. Here is the main cabin. The cabin is a bit tiny. I might stay down below in the kitchen. The kitchen? There isn't a kitchen. No kitchen? What's all this big space for, then? This space is for the fuel, Nanny Palum. 
I have worked out exactly how much fuel we need to get you to the moon. Where's the toilet, then? There isn't one. You'll just have to go before you leave. No toilet? But if we're having a picnic at the seaside, we'll need... Nanny Palam, it's not a picnic at the seaside. It's a very serious mission. We are going to the moon. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready? Engines are go! Computers ready? Computers on flight! Fuel system ready? Fuel systems A OK! Start the countdown! I want to wish Nine. you all the best of luck. Eight. You are going where no elf Seven. has gone before. Or fairy. Or, or fairy. Oh, sorry, Five. Holly. You are going where Four. no elf or fairy Three. has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and A-OK, -okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! Ah! Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all of the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready. <coughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what? Oh, no. We can't reach Nanny Plum. Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough. Oh, no. Lost in space. And I never even went to the toilet. Here's your lasso, Ben. Thanks, Dad. Keep still. I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you. Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf, honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, 
there will be no picnic on the moon. This adventure continues in our next episode. Picnic on the moon. Today's adventure starts in outer space. Picnic on the moon. Woohoo! <laughs> Elf rocket to mission control. In a few minutes, we will land on the moon. Very good, Mr. Elf. You are on target to land in the Sea of Tranquility. Lovely. Once we're at the seaside, we can eat our picnic. Oh, Nanny Plum, for the last time, we are not going for a picnic. Why not? Because this is a serious elf mission to the moon. We can still have a picnic. Ready, everyone? We are about to go where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Oh, yes. Sorry, Holly. We are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump. This is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien. Amazing. This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever. Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> Feeling good. No, don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look, the aliens love building sand castles. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah! Magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand, remember? It wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot! Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear! Whoa! Jelly blood! Whoa! What's happening? Yeah. Nanny Plum has flooded the Sea of Tranquility with jelly. 
Nanny Plum. All the maps of the mood will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly. But the aliens jelly. like the jelly. They're eating it all up. <laughs> they love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bath. No! Nanny Plum, I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. No water in the sea and we can't eat food. What kind of picnic is this? It's not a picnic! OK, let's go home. Nanny Plum's right. It's time to go. Well, that's what I've been saying. Bye-bye, aliens. Bye. Bye-bye. I like aliens. Yes, they're lovely. Everybody get ready for takeoff. I will set the controls for... Oh. What is it? Fuel tank is empty. Ah, we seem to be out of fuel. What does that mean? We are stuck on the moon forever! Oh, no. What? What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But, of course, There's someone... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly! Of course! Nanny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. <laughs> Please land the elf rocket in the frog pond. Right ho! Where are they? <gasps> there they are! Stand back, everyone. <laughs> Launch the Ningi! We're home! Welcome back, Ben and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> we flew to the moon and back. The mission was a complete success. Thanks to the wonders of elf cleverness. Thanks to my magic jelly, you mean. What? 
Without my magic jelly, we'd still be on the moon. Now, now, Nanny. Let's not argue over the little details. Let's just say elf skill got us to the moon and fairy magic got us home. Hooray!